guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm May if you're new here and today I am doing a bookshelf tour and usually when I watch these types of videos people are showing their like big bookshelves and how they organize it and a lot of them are really pretty and like themed. Um, I personally really like the rainbow themed one um, but today I'm not showing you my like full bookshelf with all my books if that makes sense. Um, if you're unaware, I am a senior in college and I currently live in an apartment and so that means I don't have a ton of room. I also personally just don't own a lot of shelves for books. There is space where I can store more books outside of my room, but inside of my room for like an actual bookshelf I only own this little tiny one. So I thought I would give you guys a little tour and see how I kind of organize it. I will say that I actually have some new books coming in and some new books I bought today that are not on this shelf and will be added to this shelf. So this shelf isn't even like up to date. Um, and again, this isn't to show like my book collection, it's to show how I organize things. This is where my shelf is. I'm sitting on my bed, which I don't have like a high bed. It's a low bed. So I'm sitting on my bed. My shelf is right next to it. I kind of use it as a nightstand. So usually this top shelf right here gets filled with like my water bottle or like whatever I need when I go to bed. I kind of cleaned it up. <laughs> so I'll bring you guys closer and we can see that. So this is the top. I currently have a candle burning. It's a wood wick candle I got from like Walmart and it kind of crackles as it burns, which I thought was really cool. This and this room spray, room spray, I'm so sorry, room spray from Urban Outfitters both smell like men, which is like my favorite scent. <laughs> so I keep these to, you know, have a nice smelling room. This is a skull from, I don't even know where, Walmart, Target, matches the aesthetic. Desperados from France. I had this on my last night when I went to the bar, so it's kind of a memento. I really don't drink Desperados. I just had it like one night. And then the only other thing up here is this little plate. This plate is filled with like bracelets I made and jewelry because I don't I always forget to take my earrings out before I go to bed if I wear them and I just need a place to put them and as you can tell this is right next to my bed. So there you go. So the next shelf is this one here. I have mostly journals on this shelf. I also have books that I'm currently reading. Except for candy. This is kind of thrown here because <laughs> I have a bunch of class books coming up and in the mail for my next semester classes and they don't have a home right now until I get them. So Candide is just shoved here with the rest of them. So we can just, you know, get rid of Candide. The actual books on here are Who Fears Death by Nidhi Okafor and Children of Blood and Bones by Adeyemi. And these are books that I'm currently supposed to be reading, but honestly I haven't really been reading them. And between them, for some reason, they're not together. I don't know. Between them are all my journals. So these two are my finished bullet journals. I have videos of them on my channel if you want to check those out. I keep them here for reference and just so that I have them. This journal is an extra journal I have for random notes that I'm going to move to a different place soon. This is my language journal. It has French and Spanish notes in it so far. This journal is a class journal. I used it to take notes my last semester here in America, so I'm going to use it since it only is a little bit full. I'm going to use it for semester notes this year because it's just easier to carry around one journal like this than to carry around like five journals for five classes. I also have a little money bag that doesn't really have anywhere else to live and my tarot cards from Welcome to Night Vale. I also have my little power box for these things, which these are just like little lights. I barely turn them on, but I am at Target like forever ago and they're like $3 section, so decoration, you know? <laughs> 
So the next shelf down, we'll move down. My water bottle is here because I got thirsty. Oops. You can see that <laughs> this is very sparsely decorated. <laughs> I have my passport, which I like to keep off. I mean, obviously it's going to be kept on me, but it's also, you know, going to be kept near me. I also have these bottle caps. This is from France and this is a Mexican Coke bottle. You know, only the necessities. <laughs> and these books are my YA books, I believe, except for American Gods. That is not YA. And I'm not too sure on the Night Circus. That may potentially not be YA, but I think it is. This is the section of books that I was meaning to read. And I have not read a good bit of them. I have not read American Gods. As you can see, this is a massive book. I also have a bunch of like pamphlets here. We're just gonna ignore those um this is a huge book i will have to like <laughs> section off a time to get to this these are the fourth and third book of the raven cycle series which i have finished and i enjoyed greatly i do own the whole series and i will be transporting the first two books to this shelf here so i have them because i love them that much but for now, these two are the only ones I have here because I read these here. And the other two I read overseas. Ember and the Ashes I have read. I had kept it here so my roommate could read it, and she did. Uh, Crooked Kingdom, Night Circus, Shadow and Bone, and Nixia I have not read. And I know that, like, some people don't particularly like keeping things separate from, like, series or whatever. But I have read Six of Crows, and I didn't want to bring Six of Crows and have it just next to Cro Crooked Kingdom that I haven't read yet if I could have Crooked Kingdom and more books I haven't read. So that was my logic. Still haven't read any of those. I need to do that. <laughs> They're on my shelves because they seem the most likely out of my TBR pile. That's back at home. <laughs> and um, the bottom shelf is actually made of books I have mostly read. Actually this is the shelf that will get the biggest makeover. So I have these two adult uh, sci-fi and fantasy books. They're like the only adult ones I have on my shelves right now. I've been meaning to read them, which is also why I brought them. But then all these other ones are books I have read. These two are for books I really like. I love The Adventure Zone. This is the comic version. This is vinyl, which I was in the middle of rereading, but I've had to stop because of school. Ooh, it's upside down. Oh no. Um, but I love this series and I kept it here because I really liked it. And these books are all books I read for school that I either one liked a lot, um, liked a little, or I couldn't return. I really liked On Writing. This is a really good book and I will keep it on my shelves, but a few of these I think I'm gonna move back home and replace with better books. So stay tuned for my shelf renovation to see what I do with those. I also keep my ukulele on this shelf because I don't have anywhere else to put her, and that's where she lives. <laughs> so that's my little bookshelf tour, my little like apartment college bookshelf. As I mentioned, I will be adding new books to the shelf, so stay tuned for part two where I reorganize and add. Um, I think that will be exciting. I also have a book haul coming that is pretty large. <laughs> My wallet hates me, but it's fine. If you enjoyed this and want to see more content from me, I do a lot of journaling and book related videos, then make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will not miss any video I put up because YouTube tends to do that. And if you would give this video a like if you enjoyed it, that would be great. It really helps me out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next video. Bye. The sun bursts flowers calling on warm days over to you.